so we are going to be doing some meal prep today. It is Wednesday. Actually, um, I've been kind of making my meals as I was going along this week. Renee is here. She's helping me film. Hi. Renee. Um, so we are going to be meal prepping for the rest of the week and kind of through the beginning of next week. And what I'm going to be making is the pulled chicken breast that I showed you guys. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do that. I'm going to make some rice to go along with it and how we've been eating that is actually with rice and then salad. Um, I'll show you that meal once we make it because we're going to eat it right after this. We just got back from the gym and we're starving. And then the last thing that we're going to do is um, we're going to roast um, two bags of veggies. This is just a vegetable medley. It's carrots, broccoli, and cauliflower. And I'm going to cut these up. Um, we're going to show it all to you. So the first thing that I want to do, I have my boiling water for my rice on um, high. So it's, it's not boiling yet, but it's going to be boiling soon. I get the jasmine rice. It's my favorite rice. You can get whole grain, um, brown rice, whatever you want to get. Um, but I like the boiling bag. This is because it is ridiculously expensive. It's like $2 a bag to buy the Uncle Ben's, and it's like two cups. And you get an insane amount of volume with this. I will say, this is kind of a jerk. It is really hard to master. I was not a fan of it. I like did not cook the rice at all the first time because here are the instructions. It says to pour one quart of water into medium saucepan and submerge one bag of rice. Bring water to a boil uncovered eight to 10 minutes. Remove bag with fork and drain. Cut open bag and empty rice into serving dish. Now, to me, that sounds like you put the rice in, you bring the water to a boil for eight to 10 minutes, and then you take it out. But that's not what you do because it doesn't cook the rice. I've done it. So here is what you actually do. I fill a huge saucepan. Um, if you wanna do, it has instructions for like how much water to add. It says um, for, to cook multiple bags, pour three quarts of water into a large saucepan and submerge two to four bags. So in each thing, it comes with four bags of rice. These all have little holes in them. And so what you do is you, you get your cold water in here and I just eyeball the water. It doesn't really matter. And you submerge these fully. The water's kind of warm because it's starting to um, heat up. And so you just want to submerge them in there and they can go over top of each other. It's totally fine. Just kind of, I just press them down to the bottom. And then you're gonna bring this to a boil. Once it hits a boil, I set my timer for eight minutes. You're gonna let those boil for eight minutes. Don't turn the heat off. And generally, that will bring the rice out perfectly. So we're just gonna let that come to a boil. I'm gonna set my Alexa, so she doesn't come on yet, timer for eight to 10 minutes. 10 minutes, 10 minutes is usually slightly like uh, mushy. You wanna like, eight, eight minutes is about the right time. All right. So we have rice going in this skillet. We are going to finish up this coconut oil. Um, I just have a couple tablespoons left in here and we're gonna be cooking a bag and a half, so about two pounds of turkey. And I might throw a third bag in here, so this probably has... It's chicken, by the way. I mean, yeah, it's chicken, thank you, Renee. <laughs> thank you, it is. Well, sometimes I, uh, sometimes they have a turkey version, but for right now, it's a chicken version. Um, so this is probably three tablespoons of coconut oil, but you're gonna want that because we're cooking a lot of chicken here. So, and coconut oil is good fast for you. This one's empty, and I did just get, I don't know if you guys show up at Target, but this one was on sale. I think I got this for $4.99, and I think this was like $14.99. Like, coconut oil can be really expensive, so check out your Target. Crisco makes coconut oil now, but it's 100% organic, so it is coconut oil, it's not Crisco. We don't wanna cook with that. So, I'm going to recycle that can. And then the way to tell, well, the oil is ready. The way to tell if the oil is ready is if you put your wooden spoon in it and it boils up around your wooden spoon. Um, it like bubbles up around the spoon. So, fun facts with Abby on the Food Network in Abby's Kitchen. And then we want that sizzle. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then you just kind of, I like to get it all coated in the coconut oil. Get everybody, I'm sorry my white stove looks disgusting, but please ignore it. I know it needs to be cleaned. It gets a lot of love, okay? All right, so we're really prepping lunch or dinner right now. This is really made for one meal. You have your chicken, you have your rice, and you have your veggie. Um, I am gonna be doing a, another prep video with the breakfast bowls that are my favorite right now. Um, and I'll show you guys that in a different video. But this is kind of what I've been really loving to prep. It's so easy. You don't have to spend hours in the kitchen. 
You can see I'm doing three things at one time. The rice will be done in 20 minutes, this will be done in 20, 30 minutes, and the veggies will be done in 20, 30 minutes once my oven preheats. So it's really like 40 minutes of prep time, super easy, and this I do get from Target. Um, this, that's the only place I've been able to find it. It's the Tyson Grilled and Ready, 100% all natural, and I'm a little bit weird about like my meat and um, like really fatty meat I don't eat, and I don't really eat any red meat, and this is the way that I like to eat my chicken and my turkey. I don't eat like whole chicken breasts, it's like a texture thing with me, so I like the pulled version better. It's like kind of like rotisserie chicken, but they shred it and they freeze it for you. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. That's all I got right now. I'll come back when I'm doing something else. All right, so I am opening up this bag of veggies and um, cutting everything. I like to cut my broccoli like about that size. If you cut it too big, I just... It doesn't roast really well, I think, and I don't like it insanely crunchy. I like it, well, I like it crispy, but I don't like it to be, like, raw tasting. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but anyway, so I cut my broccoli really small, and I'm just cutting, look how massive this is. <laughs> I'm just cutting all the broccoli, the carrots, the cauliflower, and sometimes you can just, like, rip it off if you get a big stock here. Like, I can just kind of tear these. I'm going to cut this guy. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Renee, for all the good camera work here. Experimenting. Broccoli, cauliflower. I'm putting them in this big bowl because I'm going to toss them with some olive oil and some salt and pepper. Carrots go just like the carrots. It's beautiful. You don't even have to do anything. More broccoli. Just like to trim the stems because a lot of times the stems look a little bit dirty when you get it from a bag. They look a little bit what? Dirty. Oh, dirty. Don't you think? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like, that it just looks like 30 and like old or something. Nah. I don't know. Just like, nah. I'm not about that. I do love broccoli, though. And it's so good for you. I like cauliflower, asparagus. You can throw some asparagus in here. You can substitute this with asparagus if you like that better. Um, get the other carrots out of here. Turns out the majority of this is broccoli. So... But it makes it a little easier. I still have to do a little chopping, but one of the things I like hate the most is cutting a whole head of broccoli or cauliflower. I feel like there is nothing <laughs> worse than that when it comes to meal prep because one, like, look how messy this is already. So like cutting a whole head of it is just like, no. I get it in the baggie. I do a little bit of chopping. Life is better. Ain't nobody got time for that. Cauliflower you can usually break apart like really easily. I'm gonna make this whole bag because I'm gonna eat this three this week and next week. So I'm gonna do both bags, which is let's see how many ounces. It is 255 grams, nine ounces in each bag. Renee and I are hungry. We just had a killer workout at the gym. We squatted for the full quad day. It was intense. It was really good. In here. Get up in there. There you go. And I like to use um, extra light tasting olive oil. I'm just gonna add like a couple tablespoons. Turn this down just a little. We have, you know, quite a bit here. So I'm just gonna add a couple tablespoons of that. Some good old fashioned pink Himalayan sea salt or just pink Himalayan salt, rock salt. That's what it's done. A decent amount of that, guys. That's what really flavors it. You can add a little lemon juice to this if you'd like it too. Or a little crushed garlic, some pepper. Just get in there with your hands and mix it around. Get it going. Roasting vegetables is the best way to eat vegetables. I'm not even playing. All right, take it over here. We have a grease baking sheet. I'm almost out of Pam, so I'm just gonna do my best with it today, which is really not good overall kitchen hack. Take a little bit of your olive oil, put it on a paper towel. We have olive oil on all our veggies, so they really shouldn't stick, but just in case. There we go. Spread them out. 425 for between 20 and 30 minutes, depending on how crispy you like your veggies. I like mine really crispy, so we'll check on those in a few minutes. This is done. I'm going to take these Rice packets out. I kind of just I'm gonna grab my bowl. Let them drain for a second to get as much water as I can out. 
I use tongs. They're freaking hot, 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 hot. Obviously, they've been boiling for 10 minutes, eight minutes, I said, right? Eight minutes. Um, so make sure they drain a little bit, and I always get a bowl. I'm just using, I just rinsed out the same bowl that I did my veggies in. Put them in here, and then I just let them rest for a hot minute and let them cool down, and then I cut them out, and I'll pour them into my meal prep containers, which are over there. Our chicken is still going strong. I like for the chicken to get nice and crispy on the bottom, and so I turn the heat up a little bit on that, and I'm just gonna let these rest. Veggies are still going in the oven. We will cut these open in a sec. I'm just gonna let them cool down for a minute. Grab your oven glove. Um, I Mine's actually called an oven glove. It's like a O'Keefe family thing, so. They got me one for my first case, miss. And I love it. And I'm just gonna cut these guys open here. And we're gonna pour it in our meal prep containers. Normally I do one at a time. I don't know why I'm getting ballsy and going to. All right, hold it here and then I just kinda dump her in. And each thing makes about one cup, a little over. So usually I, it's two servings. All right, there we go. And I just put the empty bag back in the bowl, throw it out when I'm done. Look at that easy. This meal prep cannot get easier, right? This is the world's easiest meal prep. Renee, right? Am I right? Yes. Um, I think <laughs> Renee feels that she has to agree with me right now. I'm like really on a roll. And this rice, it, it came out pretty well. I'm pretty satisfied. All right, I'm going to go grab two more meal prep containers, fill those puppies up, and I'll be back when everything else is done. So our chicken is all finished, and one of the things I like to do, if you can see the bottom of the pan, it's got this kind of layer of crispy chicken, and I like to really scrape that off and get all those bits of flavor in that chicken. It seriously makes it so much better. I think Renee can attest. It's true. It, we had this yesterday, and it's like just scraping off as many as you can. It just gets those little crispy bits in there. It's just like such good flavor. If you've ever watched the Food Network, you know, the best flavor is at the bottom of the pan. That's where it all lives. I just gotta scrape that up. But we're not making a sauce for this because, you know, we're, we're lean and clean right now. I've got a honeymoon in a week and a half, so. I'm just scraping these off, just coconut oil and chicken, nothing else, nothing else bad. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scoop this into each one. These are also the greatest meal prep containers in the history of meal prep containers. I got them from Amazon. I believe it's a set of 28 um, for, I think I spent, like $20 on it. It was incredible. It was like the greatest deal. And I'm probably going to be ordering more. They're dishwasher safe. They're microwave safe. And I will be linking them below for you guys. That way, you can check them out if you're interested. Um, I am also going to be making the other pack of chicken right after this. My bowl just wasn't quite big enough to make, or my skillet wasn't quite big enough to make um, the rest of it here, which is good. I told you, you know, about a bag is six meals and we ate probably about half the bag, at least half the bag yesterday. Maybe more like three quarters. I thought we had a little extra, but I don't think we had quite as much as I thought. I'm just gonna scrape it, make sure I get all that goodness. And just add a little extra. Also making a second batch of rice, cause I wanna make, we made about, we made six meals with this. So I wanna double that, try to see if I can get 12 out of it. Um, for the rest of the week. So I just made my food while I'm gonna wait for everything else, the second batch of everything to finish up. And I just put a little bit of rice in here, my chicken and my lettuce and the dressing that I'm using that I'm completely obsessed with is this Brianna's Homestyle Dijon Honey Mustard Dressing. I actually picked this up like a month ago and hadn't opened it and then Renee uh, said it was her favorite. So I was like, oh yeah, I have this. I should open it and try it. It's freaked me out because I thought there was like avocado in it. And so I thought it was gonna be like something creamy and I don't know, different. But basically, it just is delicious on avocados, does not contain avocados, which is very weird. And this brand seems to do the same thing with the poppy seed one. It is delicious on fresh peaches, does not contain peaches. Is that not weird? Why do they do stuff like that? I don't know. But I'm gonna go enjoy this. I am very excited for it, and then I will show you guys once everything else is finished up. So veggies are done, and um, they actually roasted. I. I really think you can't over roast veggies. We were, Renee and I were just talking about it. I like mine really crispy, and so I left them in for about 35 minutes at 425. If you like them more on the like crunchy, raw type side, 
then roast them for like 20 minutes. Um, but we just have to add these to the meal prep containers. You can see we're surrounded by a sea of meal prepping. Um, we each ate a meal, and so we have 13 here, which means that we prepped 15 total. Feeling pretty good about that. It's two and a half bags of chicken, two bags of veggies, and two full boxes of rice. So it's a cup in each, so it's 15 cups of rice total. And um, we did two of the boxes of the jasmine rice, so it was four bags of that rice. So I'm just gonna add some veggies to each, and honestly, like we're not gonna have enough veggies for each meal probably, but with a lot of these meals, I'm gonna eat it with salad. So I'm just gonna try to fill half of them, if possible. Plus, you guys, secret, um, Tim does not like vegetables very much, and some of these meals are for him. So we're gonna, we can leave about, you know, he'll take about three or four of these for the week, so, or maybe just he'll, maybe he'll just take a couple, but we can leave those without veggies. He will not take those. Actually, he'll take it, pretend like he's gonna eat it, and then he won't eat it, and I'll be mad because I wish I ate it. That's what really happens. Okay. Uh, if you've never tried roasted vegetables, though, and you don't like vegetables, don't knock it till you try it, guys. It's so good. So good. Pretty happy with this. So this is your meal prep for your dinner, for your lunch, whatever you, you know, want this for. Um, you can, you know, if you're grocery store doesn't have pulled chicken that's frozen you can do um pulled turkey you can also do like rotisserie and shred it you can also put it in the crock pot there's so many ways to do it but this is the way that i have been loving it and thinking that it tastes the best so i hope you guys enjoyed the meal prep video stay tuned i'm gonna have a breakfast prep with breakfast bowls that are so good you don't want to miss it that will be coming for you guys really soon i love you all and i will see you in the next video Mwah.